Yeah, I got three flashlights in front of me here that I'm going to be doing a review on today. And these are all from a company called Rofus. They sent me these here to test out, run it through the ropes to see what I'd think. If I liked it enough, I'd be putting a review on. Well, you're going to see a review. Each one of these are different lights. Now, one thing with them, each light does come with its own 18650 battery, a 3400 milliamp Rofus battery, and they are a quite good battery. I was surprised by that in itself. As you can see there, every one of them is saying up to 1100 lumens, and we are going to find out if they are punching out to where the rated meters are, like the center one's 336, 257, and of course this one's a little less, but this is a wicked light right here, I'm telling you right now, before we get going too much, and they all fall over. But anyways, what I'm going to do is start out with the KR20. Now I'm going to provide everything down below where you can check the lights out on these, and I would say check them out. Price-wise, these are a very good buy. I've had some lights that are pushing up to $100 or more, and these seem to be a little bit more affordable, and they do have the real good build quality. But going with the KR20, this has the Cree XPL High V3 emitter in it. You got your direction booklet and all that in there. I'm going to mess with that. Every one of the lights comes with a very good case, and I mean a real good case, very rugged. The big thing with cases, of course, is where they sew the belt loop on. They've done an outstanding job on this, and the light fits in it quite well. And you have, as you can see here, some spare parts, tail cap and O-rings and whatnot, lanyard, and a pretty damn nice USB charging port, which now you already know this does charge through a USB without having to pull a battery out. Now you got your, your grip on this one, which I don't really care for them on there, but you can take it off like so. Now this light has two switches. You got your rear tail cap and your side switch, and I really like that in lights for having ability to know you're not going to accidentally turn that on if you have it in your pocket. And I would consider this a pocketable light. Now this has a total of seven modes, including of course strobe and beacon, but we're going to rattle through these modes quick. And the first mode is basically called moon mode, and you, you hold the side switch on and then push the back one. And you're going to get four lumens, which I really like, not no one lumen or a half a lumen or anything else like that, but that's going to run 210 hours. And then by just pressing the side switch quick, you get low mode, which is 12 lumens for 135 hours. Third mode, 80 lumens for 29 hours. Yep, look at that tight ass beam too. And then fourth mode, 220 lumens for 10 damn hours. And it's bright. I'm telling you, it's very bright. Next one, 500 lumens for 2.8 hours. And then there's turbo, 1100 lumens. 300 in, I believe, 36 meters of throw is what it's rated at. And we're going to find that out. But that'll run for an hour and a half. And then I do believe if you hit it twice or hold it, you get your strobe or beacon. So that's pretty cool. Then the other feature real quick on this one is if you're going through and cycling through your modes and without shutting it off, uh, very little battery drain. But that light will be flashing is basically to let you know the light's there and it's ready. It's just say up on a shelf at nighttime in the dark. Like so. Where you'd have easy access to it. And an intruder comes and hold the switch on. And there you go. They're blinding somebody. Pretty neat. The head on this light is a little bit bigger. Very, very well made. IPX8 standard or 30 minutes up to one and a half meters deep without any issues. The charging port off to the side, very well sealed up with a rubber cap. You can simply press, plug in your micro USB charger. Green means it's fully charged. Now next up we'll do the KR10, basically the same as this other KR20, but with a smaller head. Very nice protective case and the same accessories with the charger and everything. If you notice here, about the same height, but quite a bit smaller in diameter. A lot more streamlined, more pocketable. And this has the 
the same modes, the moonlight mode, pretty much the same runtime and everything as the KR20. Not quite as tight a bead, but a good throw, all the way up to 1100 lumens. And you got that same mode where you're sitting there, flashlight's ready to go. Very well built. I really like these things. Real nice heavy clips on them that you can remove if you want. So we won't talk too much about the KR10, but that, if somebody didn't want a larger sized light with the same, pretty much the same output, just not quite as much throw, they'd go with the KR10. Now for the one I like, the TR20 angle light. This is 1100 lumens, same thing, XBL High V3, a pocketable size, battery included, case-wise, got your same case, very rugged case, a little bit smaller form factor, goes out to 205 meters of throw, a little bit less than both them other ones, but you see there, size comparison. Now the big feature on this one here, of course it has its rechargeable port with the USB, but you can angle that light up to 90 degrees and that stays put and the on and off switch on this is right here that's the on and off and there's the mode change basically just turn it on and I'm in moonlight mode which is very useful and to run through your your modes simply just press that upper switch on up to turbo out to over 200 meters with this nice little light. Now you do have your quick access, press and hold this on, go directly to turbo or you can basically push the upper switch and you go directly into moonlight mode. And you do have the, the standby feature when your light is on if you were to hold it. It'll be sitting there on standby to easily find it with that blinking light at night time. Second great feature on this little light, you get a little cast iron fry pan here. It's got one hell of a magnet on the back for basically working on say automotive or anything. You can angle that head and put it to a piece of metal and turns this into a very versatile light. He said all three of these lights, very well made. I haven't seen anything wrong with them, haven't found no issues with them very bright but what I want to do is we're going to go out like my other reviews and check out the actual beam shot and I'll do some comparisons I always throw in the through night TN12 because to me that was one of the original nice bright LEDs that are a pocketable version to give you an idea what the comparison is so what we're going to do is head out get some real good beam shots and you'll see what I'm talking about alright I'm going to have to hurry up it's starting to snow out now, just as always, I have my lux meter four meters away from the house and we'll calculate the throw. First up is going to be the KR10 on high. Let's see what that reading was. All right, that was 724 lux at four meters. So we'll uh, times that by four or divide by 0.25 brightness of the moon times four meters squared is 16. And a square root. So that thing just punched out 215 meters. Pretty good for that skinny ass flashlight. Now next up is going to be the TR20. The one that has the angled head and the magnetic base. Check it out. That one was 998 times 4 times 16. 252 meters of throw for an angled head and that one's just as skinny as the other one with the head very pocketable light 252 on high actually 253 that was the TR20 now we're doing the KR20 the bigger headed light four meters away scope it out that was a solid 1853 meters times four times 16 pretty damn good 344 meters of calculated throw so now for the real world test we're going to start uh putting it out there in a the field and you'll see some beam shots and then we'll compare them up against say my truck headlights halogens on high 
All right, I got a tree 62 meters away, and we're going to start out with that KR10 by Rolfus. This is the smaller one. That is high. Very easily lights up that tree. Now we're going to do the angled one, that TR20 with a magnetic base. 62 meters, punching out there. And there's the KR20, the little bit bigger head one, 62 meters away. Now for comparison's sakes, we're going to get out the Through Night TN 12 2014 edition. There's the 2014 TN 12. Again, the KR10, angled head TR20, and the big head TR KR20. Let's move down to a tree that's 92 meters away, and here's the KR10. Lights it up pretty damn good. And there's the TR20, 92 meters. And there's the KR20, big headed one, 92 meters. Now we got a tree line about 250 meters up, up there that hillside. So first up is that KR10. It's kind of hitting it. TR20, a little brighter as you can see there. It's got more punch. And then the bigger head, KR20. That last one was the angled TR20. Definitely reaching out 250 meters up into that woods easy. For comparison, through night, TN12, 2014, KR20. Now one thing I want to do is I have a Lumatop TD16. The head on it is probably about 20 millimeters bigger. This is my farthest throwing flashlight that you can actually put in your pocket. Maybe I'll show you it when I'm, I'm done shining here. This is a KD-16, and it looks like, man, them things are close. This KR-20 is uh, holding its own. Lumatop TD-16, KR-20. TD-16, yeah, it's, I think it's hitting out there just a little bit more. KR-20. Not much though. Now here's that Lumatop TD-16 up against the uh, Rolfus KR-20. As you see there, Lumatop is got quite a bit bigger head. Tell you what we're going to do, that tree line way out there is 190 meters going on 200. And there's the TR-20. Be more than enough ample light to light everything up. Lumatop TD-16. Like I said, this is my farthest throwing pocketable flashlight. And I've done reviews on tons of them. Just throwing farther just because of the little bit bigger head. It's small enough you can put it in your pocket. This KR-20 is really holding its own. Hard not to get these damn numbers mixed up on these stupid things. TR-20, KR-20. TR-20, KR-20. All right, I turned my truck head, or headlights on on high beam, and I've got my ISO turned down so it won't blind everything. This is the KR20, the big-headed one. How much brighter it is than some real nice halogen lights on a truck. Give you a little bit of an idea. Even a KR10. Angled head, angled head TR20. Again, the KR20 takes them truck headlights right out of the picture. So there you go, Rolfus flashlights. Every one of these are very good. Check these links out down below on these lights if you're interested in them, but I'm telling you, I'm very impressed with them. One of these times I gotta put a video together having every single one of my flashlights on at one time, just to see how much of a hillside I could light up, but the old Rolfus flashlights, TR20, KR10, and KR20. There you go.